This is Michael with GoodyReader.com. We're at the Intel booth today checking out the Lenovo Idea tab and we're going to get some uh, perspective on what this is all about. So this is a pre-production hardware from Lenovo, as you said. Uh, this is uh, inside, it's running Intel's 32 nanometer Medfield processor, which is the same processor that uh, the phone that we announced today, uh, or yesterday. Um, it's a x86 Atom based processor. Uh, this is currently running Android 4.0, it's the latest version of Android. And uh, it's a very early version of that build, so it's a very alpha build of the software. Uh, one of the applications that we're showcasing right now, actually, is a Google body. It's an application made by Google. Um, it's an education application. And the, we're showing this because uh, notice how smooth and fast the rendering is. This is uh, considering how the software is in alpha, the hardware is in beta. This is very fast, very uh, smooth. Once uh, some of this optimization is done on the operating system level, uh, the entire operating system will be incredibly fast. Uh, let me go over a little bit of the hardware for you. It's 10.1 inches, uh, 1280 by 800, I believe. 8.9 millimeters thin. And some of the connectors there, there's a HDMI, there's a, a micro USB, there's a micro SD card slot on the on this side and a, and a SIM card slot. And on the top, there's a there's a power button, a volume rocker, and on this side there's a there's a headphone jack. So I noticed there's a front-facing camera. Do you, uh, is there a rear-facing camera on this as well? Yes, there's a rear-facing camera. Do you want me to? Sh I can show it to you here. Uh, this is what the back looks like. And uh, one interesting thing you can notice here it says NFC right there. So if you were just wondering, it is NFC support. So this is one of the, actually the few tablets that we've seen that has near field communication. Um, is this something that we can expect to see more tablets, do you think, going forward? Um, I mean, yeah. NFC is uh, taking off pretty big, so that's up to the, really the market. But um, I mean, Intel really cannot say right now. So, so you mentioned uh, the processor. Uh, is it? What can you tell us about? Is this the first tablet using this sort of uh, architecture by Intel? Uh, this is the first Medfield tablet that we announced. Uh, there'll be more coming along the way. We'll be announcing that as uh, as it's appropriate. Um, we do have other Intel-based uh, products out there that are, that are in tablets already, though. So so what would you say is the advantage of using this type of architecture in a tablet versus, uh, you know, other types of, you know, i7 I and things like that? Uh, well, number one, uh, the Atom line is, is, is more uh, focused towards consumer-driven purposes, so especially in tablets. Uh, it's, uh, with Core i5, it's more of a, you know, high performance, uh, very... Uh, purpose-driven kind of architecture. This is a more of a consumer-driven, so you know, longer battery life uh, at incredible uh, performance still. Speaking of battery life, you know, with the, the prototype hardware and build that you have here, what's the estimated time of battery life? Certainly with the architecture, that helps, right? So we're not disclosing exact battery life figures, but you can expect uh, battery life to be very competitive with, uh, with any of the other products that are out there right now. Uh, all day battery life. Um, that's kind of what we're going for right now. Okay, so the purpose of, the essence of this is that it's a consumer device using a new type of uh, Intel architecture. Again, it is prototype and as you can see the 3D rendering here is very quickly. There's no clipping, no lag or anything like that and you do notice that there is a SIM card so hopefully we can see in the future 4G, LTE and things like that. So this is a Michael here taking a look at the Lenovo Idea tab at the Intel booth at CES 2012.